part two the build it's now sunday i've got the bike back it's all ready to be assembled so um let's just jump into it with some spraying from uh, josh what a beautiful day to end it on yeah lovely So while the inspector, Torvi, does her uh, well, part-time job as a mechanic, yes, yes, as a mechanic, the specialised rock hopper comp is back and it is looking beautiful. Josh has done an amazing job spraying this up. Um, I went down, picked it up a couple of weeks ago now, and um, had a little tour of his spray. Spare, uh, had a little tour of his place. So um, if you need anything spraying, if you need anything servicing down in the uh, Bristol area then check out uh, Josh at Bristol Bicycle Restorations and uh, should be able to offer you some services. But now it is time to just get this all together, get everything cleaned up and see that spider just crawling along the top tube there. Don't know where he's come from. I've set myself up in here to clean everything down. Um, obviously, this is the original seat post, which I'm thinking of getting an exact replacement um, just because of the finish of this. And the one I've got in there at the moment is uh, a very, very shiny, it's a little bit different. But yeah, as you can see, it did come out, it was seized in, did come out, but it's unusable. Um, brake levers as well, replace them because they were horribly bent like this section here was bent so I got these from Germany um, new old stock I believe bunch of stuff at the back, bunch of stuff in this box to clean and service um, and yeah I've got a lot, lot of cleaning to do I'm also you know half tempted to replace this Campagnolo uh, headset it's not original to the bike it is a nice headset don't get me wrong but it's not original and I can find a pretty much original headset to go on uh, but for now I'm going to clean this up get rid of all this old gunk and get it on the bike
Have a good. And it is done. <laughs> complete, hundred percent complete. It looks amazing. It was in a very rough state when I got it. Very rough. I mean, that seat post was seized. Fortunately, it didn't take too much effort to get out. The stem was somewhat seized as well, um, and the frame was just well used and battered. Well used, but with the strip down, cleaning everything. The frame got sent off to Josh at Bristol Bicycle Restorations. Um, he's done this magic spraying it up, so that is a nice, solid, smooth paint job now. And it looks beautiful, it looks stunning. Now, to be 100% clear, it isn't completely original, obviously. The pedals that this should have come with are plastic. Uh, they're not very good at all. They're similar to what I had on the 89 Rock Hopper. Um, so I've gone for some brand new Wellgo pedals. Well go pedals. Um, it also, I don't believe, came with Smoke and Dart. They're of the era, they will work. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh, seat post, technically. You know, should be a strong. I can get them. I may get one to replace it at some point. And the headset, instead of being the Campy, should be a. What was it now? And the headset, instead of being a Campy, should be a Sake, I think. Oh god, I forgot which one it should be. But it should be something slightly different. Uh, the Campy may be, you know, slightly nicer. All in all, though, a restoration. You know, I love how it's looked. The cleaning actually didn't take as long as I would have thought. The uh, polishing up all the components with the wire wall and the auto cell looks great. Um, and yeah, happy, happy with it. I may end up replacing the saddle. Um, it well, to ride at least. Um, it is the original or a original saddle of the era, I do believe. Um, they're pretty hard to come by. I found that one in fairly good condition. It is a bit wrinkled, the lycra is a bit loose, but it will work for display, for riding, I'll switch it out and, and use something else. If you are interested in the specs of the bike, then check out the description. I'll always list all the spec. I'll always list all the spec out. Um, and then next to them, if they are available on Amazon, through the affiliate, affiliate links, um, I'll list them as well. So anything bought through Amazon, bought through one of those links, so even if you just click that link and then go and buy some pet food from Amazon, I apparently get a little kickback. It's only a tiny amount, but you know, every little helps. Um, and so yeah, just do the usual of liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing it round because all those engagements help the channel is kind of struggling on engagements at the moment so yeah i'd really appreciate it if you do enjoy this build to do all those things and share it round 
but there is only one last thing to do take it for a ride see how it performs but I think that will be for another video because I imagine this one is going on for quite long so until then thanks for watching I'll try and find Torby for a final shot and I'll see you in the next video